firefighters, paramedics, and emergency room workers are getting ready for a jam-packed weekend on the job. As Local 5's Danielle Zilkowski found out, it's not just fireworks causing the injuries. Bracing for impact, doctors and first responders are ready to see an uptick in injuries this 4th of July weekend. We see an increased uh, injury pattern with fireworks and burns uh, and also alcohol-related injuries. Experts say across the country, fireworks send nearly 10,000 people a year to the hospital for injuries. Burns everywhere related to either fireworks or campfires, those kinds of things. Uh, we see eye injuries. Additionally, we see hand injuries as the, the notorious fingers being blown off. Uh, it, it's very common. When it comes to kids, first responders and doctors alike urge caution. We really urge kids not to play or use fireworks, have adults around. Um, the other thing, too, is having shoes, especially on children. If you step on a sparkler that was just used, it's still holding that temperature of a thousand plus degrees. They warn to be prepared, always have a source of water to put out fireworks, and keep pets safely inside. I mean, if you're going to have the, the legal fireworks at your home, like the sparklers, the smoke bombs, stuff like that, if you use them, don't use them, and intend on throwing them out. Um, douse them in water or put them in a bucket full of water and let them soak before putting them in the trash. Experts say the most important thing you can do is use common sense at all times. In Kakana, Danielle Zulkowski, Local 5 News. And bottom line, the Green Bay Fire Department urges everyone to go to a professional show instead of lighting fireworks at home.